Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over a times x, all raised to the power x. Now, in this example, a is just a real number. Let's begin by rewriting the limit in the following form. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over a times x, all raised to x. We can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over a times x divided by 1 over x. All we've done is bring the power down to the front and instead of multiplying by that power we're dividing by 1 over that power which is equivalent to just multiplying by that power because if you have a times x this is equal to a divided by 1 over x as you would multiply by x here and by x here in order to get this expression here. So as the exponential function is continuous, we can move the limit inside of it. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over a times x divided by 1 over x. Notice that this limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0. So in order to solve it, we're going to have to apply El Hopital's rule. Doing so gives us e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of the numerator is just minus 1 over x multiplied by a times x plus 1. And the derivative of the denominator is just minus 1 over x squared. This simplifies to e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared divided by x multiplied by a times x plus 1. All we've done here is multiply x squared by minus 1 and x times a times x plus 1 by minus 1 down here and this is what we're left with. Now we can cancel a factor of x and we're left with e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of x divided by a times x plus 1. What we're going to go ahead and do is divide by the highest power of x. That leaves us with e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 divided by a plus 1. 1 over x. Now if we just go ahead and let x tend to infinity, this term here tends to 0 and we're just left with e raised to 1 over a. And that is the final answer to this problem. If you found this content useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.